All right, so we've done the monkey, we've done the seahorse, we're getting there. Next up is the gorilla face. Now the gorilla face is quite different from the monkey and the seahorse in terms of how to make it. Um, with this one, you really have to manage your space because you are pouring it with milk and foam, so your cup will fill up a lot quicker. Um, and only at the end, with a few little things, you're gonna be just drawing with foam. So it's the next challenge to take. So as always, start high, mix in, mix in, mix in. This one, you wanna start really early, okay? So a quarter of the way up, kind of like a swan. So step number one is a rosetta on the edge of the cup. And while you're making the, this rosetta, you wanna follow the edge of the cup and you wanna kind of make it go around. Then you're gonna go with the second one. So same thing, following the edge of the cup. Then you're gonna come back to this one. You're gonna look at this space and you're gonna do a third rosetta, but half the size of the first one. And then there's another rosetta coming up and it's the last one and it's just this top one. What we've done here is basically create the face of the gorilla. You can even adjust it and make variations to make it into a lion, but the most known one is the gorilla face, so we're gonna focus on that. Now, we're gonna use our foam to draw. So first, we're gonna use our foam to draw two sets of ears. Not sure if our gorilla has ears, but that's what we're doing. Then we're gonna go around like this with our um, jug drawing with the foam and then under it we're going to do it again but much smaller and that's basically kind of his eyes and his nose and then using the technique we learned the monkey with dropping blobs of foam we're going to aim it right in these two gaps one of the hardest things is to manage the space that you have to fit those two blobs in. So that's probably gonna be the hardest thing to master. And then after this, you're gonna add two blobs, kind of like a tulip. One here and one here. Another variation is just to have the one single blob. We're gonna be showing both. Probably when I'm speaking and doing it, I'll probably do the one blob and then, and then on the second one, I'll do the double blob. All right, well, that's all there is to it. All right, so we're starting off. All right, we're gonna try and make a base nice and early. I'm gonna stop about here. Start here on the edge and create my first set of rosetta. I come to the side and do the same thing. I'm gonna come on the inside and make a smaller one. And on the top for the final one. And I come on the side and make the two ears. his eyes and this is what I mean we're leaving enough space for his eyes to fit in and then the blob so when you're starting off this is what you're kind of aiming for and now we'll show you what it's actually supposed to look like Okay, so there's the gorilla face. Uh, things I would focus on is the ears, really making sure they're proportioned and just the affinity, the defining of um, the outline of the eyes. It's quite important. Okay guys, I hope you enjoyed this small journey. Uh, I hope that you all learned something and I'm really, really keen to see all your progress. So make sure to tag us on Instagram so I can check him out and hopefully he can get better than me. Once you nail it once, especially with these new arts, that's not the end, that's just the start of your latte art journey. Make sure to go check out 
someone like Jibby, she's the world champ. And the best way to learn new patterns or variations is to watch other people. She doesn't talk, but you can really focus on her movements and really learn from her. Or keep watching these free patterns until you got it down packed.